models and all of the makeup and hair teams were fed organic food or locally sourced food. This is where I get a lot of my help from, actually, who are online. We want to help the fashion industry to take the green road. It's not always easy, it's sometimes it needs lots of investments, but I think most of all it needs information and education about how to do it, and that's what we want to do. I just recently uh, was awarded Canada's very first Eco Designer of the Year. that the award now exists. It's really, um, it's a sign of the times, you know, that it's becoming a thing, you know, and um, people are becoming more conscious. It's really cool to see. We just showed in London last week, uh, we were the opening catwalk. So it's nice to be playing with the big guys and, and then say, hey, yeah, this was designed by Japanese indigo that we grow in Tennessee. next spot, I think, for sustainable fashion. I really honestly believe that. I think you're going to penetrate this West Coast side, because I think that's what's going to happen. So, you know, I was meeting with Livia Firth, Colin Firth's wife, and then um, Susie Cameron, James Cameron's wife. They're both big advocates for sustainable fashion. We want to offer a platform internationally for designers and buyers to meet and to develop business relationship. This is a real pioneering spirit with lots of very positive and well-intended energy and I think we're going to see um, this thing really grow. I think we're going to be at the forefront of, of this movement, which to me will eventually not be a movement, it will just be the way it is. This is just the beginning. 